Hello and welcome to a video guide on how to do the one hour endurance race for Sakuba on the Human Comedy missions. For this mission you're going to need to purchase your own Master Touring car and you can do this for 90,000 credits. When it comes to tuning the Roadster Touring car your options are pretty limited so you're going to purchase as much as you can without going over the 610 pp mark. Now when it comes to purchasing tyres, you're going to want to purchase the racing hards. You can purchase the racing mediums but this increases your PP quite significantly so there's not much point in doing this. You're also going to want to purchase the intermediate tyres as well. If your car does go over the 610 PP limit, you can purchase the fully customizable ECU and then you're just going to adjust the output until your performance points are below 610. So when it comes to strategy for this race, this is the strategy that I used. When it comes to you doing your race, there might be some slight variances in the weather, so the lap numbers might differ slightly. However, if you are more comfortable in driving in slightly wet weather, especially for the first stint of rain that you get, this alternative strategy might be the best one to go for if you are able to conserve fuel. When it comes to actually starting the race, the first thing you're going to do is change the fuel map to 6, so the fuel is as lean as possible. This will allow you to extend your stint and allow you to get around 18, 19, possibly up to 20 laps uh, on your first stint. Just bear in mind that when you do this, you obviously won't be able to go as fast as if your fuel map was in 1, but having a longer stint will mean that we'll have a more successful race. For the first few laps we're just going to focus on getting as many overtakes done as quickly as possible in a safe manner because we don't want to end up going off track which will ultimately end up losing us time. We're going to skip forward about 10 minutes and this is where I have my first major incident. I'm uh, busy looking at the weather radar at the bottom right and then I just get it all wrong going into the hairpin and we'll end up going off track and then we end up banging into Beauvoir. This ends up costing us about seven seconds to the leaders at the front. So after this incident I decide to box. Not, I'm not quite sure why to be honest because I still had about five laps left of fuel so I could have extended my stint to about lap 18. So as you can see I've changed the fuel map back to six just to increase the longevity of our stint before the rain starts to come. One thing that you do want to avoid is battling with the AI cars as much as possible. As you can see here, I've unfortunately battling with two cars and this slows us down uh, just over a second in the first sector of the lap. So we're skipping ahead to lap 22 now. We're just over 25 minutes in and looking at the weather radar, we are due to get some heavier rain coming in soon. So it's at this point you have a decision to make. You can either stick it out if you feel comfortable driving in semi-wet conditions on dry tyres, or you can come in and change for intermediates if you feel like you'll be able to maintain a decent race pace. If you do come in for intermediates, don't forget to refuel as well. In my opinion, I made a I made a huge mistake with the first two pit stops. I came in far too early for the first one and I should have extended by about five laps. And for this one, I should have stayed out on hards. I, I, di I didn't feel like the conditions were wet enough. However, it might be different for you when it comes to you doing your race.
Although having said that and having had blue flags at the start of the lap, the leaders do decide to come in and box for intermediate tyres. This is now four laps later and the conditions are far too dry for our intermediates as they are beginning to wear quite heavily. So it was at this point I decided to come in and box for a fresh set of hards. At this point in the race it's really important to keep an eye on two things. The first one is going to be the weather radar and the second one is the damp meter on the left hand side. As once this goes over halfway it's going to be increasingly difficult to race on slick tyres. For me around lap 37 was the cut off point between dry and wet weather tyres. As you can see the damp meter is it's about halfway uh, so I thought this was the best time to come in and change tyres just to try and preempt the weather getting wetter as I didn't want to get caught mid lap. So we've now cut forward to lap 40. We're about 33 minutes in, the peak dampness on the track. And as, as you can see, I made a massive mistake uh, accelerating too much into the corner and ended up going off. Around the end of lap 44 was the time when the weather started to get drier for me. Obviously it wasn't perfectly dry, but the rain had stopped and the track was starting to dry out. By the start of lap 47 there was a clear dry racing line that had started to form as we go a little bit wide there due to the dampness of the track but apart from that there's a clear dry racing line that had started to form so I decided this was the lap that I was going to change my tyres back to hard. When we come out of the box, we have about eight and a half minutes left. We are about 26 and a half seconds to lead us. But after, after about two minutes on these dry tires, we have gained about three seconds on the leaders. And you can see that the people in front of me are starting to box for their dry tires. So we definitely made the right call boxing a few laps earlier than them. Now we've got less than 10 minutes left in this race. So it's really important to remember to stay off the wet parts of the track. Because if you do, you're going to lose control of the car on these hard tyres and just wasted 50 minutes of your life that you're not going to get back. Trust me, I experienced that for myself. So now we are on lap 52. We have just over three and a half minutes left and the last AI has come in to box to change their wet tyres. So this now puts us in the lead. We're now on the final straight of the final lap, lap 56. Bit of weaving from me there to celebrate as this was a back-to-back -back attempt. So it was about two hours of straight racing and this was such a good feeling when I completed this. earning gold you will earn yourself 1.2 million credits and that is it for this video thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one which is the trial mountain one hour endurance race